The third and last speaker of this session is going to be Maciej Dzierga. He's the CEO of STX Next, a software company from Poland. Over the past nine years, Maciej has grown STX Next to the size of 100 Python developers. He's maintaining a team of Python superheroes in Poznan and other cities in Poland. And today he is going to tell us how he wants to take his company to the next level. His talk is going to be about business development, about agile and about team development. If the superheroes in Maciej's company have one superpower, then in my opinion, this is changing the rules of mathematics. In the abstract of the talk, it's said that two plus two can be much more than four. Let's find out why. Welcome, how to become an agile company, Maciej Dzierga. Thank you very much. Uh, it will be quick talk because we have only 20, 25 minutes, so I will be talking quite fast. Uh, hopefully we'll have some time for questions at the end. Uh, so we have agenda, we have seven points, so we don't have to go into details. Uh, more about me, my history. So I was Python developer like most of you for a couple of years. Uh, I started in 2004 and in fact I was Plon developer. I, I came to Python as a Plon developer and then learned Python uh, based on it. But uh, quite fast I noticed that I'm also good in management so I get extra studies, courses in uh, to, to learn management. So the key, uh, 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 key course was MBA in 2009, but later I noticed that we have to go into Agile way, so I also took some certificates, uh, Agile certificates on Scrum Master and uh, certified uh, Scrum product owner. I'm still learning a lot, uh, uh, so uh, future is in front of me. So it was just my quick history so you know who I am, from where I uh, am, and uh, that I was Python developer for a couple, couple, couple of years. And I think I still know something about uh, Python and how to program. But today I don't program anymore. Uh, today I manage and uh, I'm very big fan of Agile and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, not about Agile process in uh, software development, but how I built uh, STX Next, how I uh, grow it and uh, how I want to do it in future and I want to do it in Agile way. That's why we talk. Uh, I'm talking about Agile Enterprise, Agile Company, not, not Agile Software Development. According to um, Business Directory, definition of Agile Enterprise is that uh, the, the, this kind of company is, first of all, flexible. Uh, that is that it's able to respond, uh, uh, rapid respond to unexpected challenges. And today's world is, a lot, uh, is uh, full of unexpected challenges, events, uh, opportunities, and agile companies have to respond to it quite fast. Uh, it's built on policies and uh, processes that uh, uh, facilitate speed uh, and change. Uh, then it's uh, characterized with diffused authority and flat organization structure. Uh, it's close, trusted, uh, based relationship with uh, their customers and suppliers. So this is what uh, definition about uh, agile enterprises. Uh, then of course we have agile software development that is also crucial in context of agile company. Uh, we know about, uh, most of you probably know that uh, what is agile, that it's iterative, incremental and evolutionary. So company can be also like uh, this. It's uh, based on efficient and face-to-face -face communication. A very short food, uh, feedback, uh, feedback loop and uh, adoption cycle. So it's, it was definition. Uh, this is Agile Manifesto. Mm, probably uh, a lot of you, if not all, uh, know it, uh, that Agile Manifesto value everything what is on the left. Uh, 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 so individuals and uh, interactions, working software, customer cooperation, and responding to change. And what we are trying to do in STX, we do it internally in the teams. Uh, we do Scrum, Kanban, Scrumban, so different uh, uh, implementation of Agile, but we also try to do it on company level, and I will share with you some nice stories that, uh, that we had. 
We started long time ago, a stake started long time ago in 2005, and we were almost agile that time. Uh, uh, why? Because there have been uh, only five developers, so there were, no, there were no structure at all, so we can also say it was very flat structure, and this is agile. Uh, one client, very short f feedback loop, uh, very efficient face-to-face uh, -face communication, of, co of course, five people sitting in one room, uh, uh, almost in one desk, so there was no problem in communication at all. Uh, it's easy to, to communicate, but we also struggled with some problems. Uh, so we had no policies, no pros processes, no quality assurance, and we have a lot of problems with, uh, with qu quality, most of all. Then a couple of years passed, 2008, uh, uh, the new investor came to our company and gave us opportunity to work for very big projects for banks, uh, biggest banks in Poland. Uh, we grew up to 10 people. It took us, as you can see, three years to grow from five to 10. Uh, still, there, was, there were no structures, so almost agile, uh, but we already had five clients uh, uh, and we were able to take decisions very quickly. The other challenges and problems occurred, so we had no policies again, still, no processes, uh, no quality assurance, but we also started to face communication problems because there have been already 10 people and everybody was doing everything. So, uh, unfortunately, without speciality, specialization, we, we also uh, came to, in some places, to pure exec uh, poor execution. And then I discovered uh, Agile, I uh, read a lot of about it, I attended some conferences, courses, uh, and what I found in Agile, uh, the most important thing about Agile is, uh, is that it's based on, on a couple of uh, things. Uh, so uh, in Agile you uh, plan, do, inspect and adapt. And this is how you can define Agile in very, very simple way with uh, uh, very one, uh, one picture. And this is how I was trying to build STX next through many years in different areas. The first area, the first problem was time tracking and how we, how we implemented this uh, uh, agile cycle uh, adaptation. So uh, first the problem was employees didn't report worked hours, so we were not able to bill it properly to the client. Uh, so we, I introduced company rule to report work hours uh, in an Excel sheet for, rep uh, uh, for reporting. So we were able then to, uh, to build clients uh, uh, on it. But of course, the employees didn't follow that rule. So we created an, uh, an app for reporting working hours and we created daily reminders. So it was some kind of adaptation cycle. We found that uh, people didn't report hours because they forget it, uh, about it. So we tried to solve this with application. So it was better, but some people still didn't follow that rule. Uh, so we create policy that we pay only for reported uh, work hours. And it really worked. Then, uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, very, we also introduced flexible work hours. So we said, well, you can work uh, in a flexible way, but we will pay you only for the hours you reported. Uh, and uh, uh, additionally, uh, we always have a policy that we pay overtime, uh, uh, over uh, time worked uh, hours. Uh, but to be able to, to say that you have been working overtime, you have to report these hours. To then, at the end of the month, you say, well, I spent 10 hours more than I expected, so you will get extra uh, bonus for it. Uh, and now everybody reports work hours and no one complains about it. Uh, just, it's not that simple. It took us a couple of years to, Im to you know, to, to implement it, to, uh, uh, to find what is working, what, what, not, uh, what is not working. But reminders are useful, uh, but to change people's behavior, to change something, it, it takes time. And you also, also always have to find a good motivator uh, uh, to it. And yeah, this one was quite, uh, quite good. Today, uh, we have 120 employees and everybody is reporting hours very accurately uh, each day uh, so this is uh, this is quite nice and i uh, didn't heard uh, since uh, since uh, uh, long time that anybody is complaining about it so uh, in the past they complained a lot uh, the next uh, agile thing, agile uh, uh, way in the company is communication. So we started, you remember, uh, 2005 with, uh, and five with uh, uh, phone communication and different uh, agreements. Uh, so nobody was uh, uh, knew what's going on in the in the company. Nobody people uh, then clients uh, denied that they agreed to something on the phone. People complained. So we introduced email and chat communication. That is uh, 
improved something, so it was traceable. So there were history in logs, so if we agreed about some specification, some feature with the client on the chat, uh, then or email, then you could uh, always go back to it and uh, confirm after a couple of weeks that it was agreed. Uh, but it was not enough, we have been growing, so it was difficult to, uh, uh, to, to know what's going on. <clears throat> so we implemented, we used <clears throat> sorry, existing ticket tracking system, that time I think it was track. Uh, we had a flat, uh, or Bugzilla or both, uh, I think Jira was not there yet. Uh, so we had a flat list of tasks, problem with many projects, uh, people, teams, uh, it was much better than uh, emails and chat, but still, uh, when company was growing, we're not able to take good overview of projects. Uh, so what is nice, uh, uh, recently, a couple of years ago, what we uh, implemented is uh, board, agile board, so Scrum, Kanban board per team, uh, per projects, so, and this is, it is visible on the TV screen in every room. So uh, we have a team in, in rooms, you will see it later on the picture, and we have, uh, on these TVs, we have uh, team scrum boards so, or agile boards uh, that really shows a team where they are, what they are doing, and I can step into, into any team, any room, and can see what's going on in the project and that everything is uh, under control. Uh, the problem is, the problem was uh, uh, then uh, when we have to also improve that we had the same scrum, uh, a scrum board for all teams, for each team. Uh, so it was, let's say, backlog in progress uh, to test and uh, uh, delivered uh, uh, or uh, to production, to deploy and uh, closed. Uh, the problem is that our team are unique. So each team is different. Each team works for different clients, different projects, and they also implement different uh, agile uh, process. Uh, and it was a problem because not all the teams, some teams are doing Scrumban, some the other teams are doing Kanban, the other teams are doing something different. So what we created in our app, in our internal app, because uh, we created it on our own, uh, I think it was, in, it was implemented in Pyramid, uh, we created customizable Scrum Kanban boards with, uh, with colors. So we have user stories with colors, uh, and each team can map their process, very, very agile process uh, uh, on their screen. Uh, so right now we have the same tool, but each team uh, uh, can see something different, can see different, uh, 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 different scrum. And it also took us a couple of years to come to the point where we are now, that each team can customize their, their uh, scrum board or agile board. Uh, to their needs, to their uh, process and their working agreements. But all of them have a screen or TV screen, or most of them in their rooms, and they can visualize work, uh, uh, they can see it all the time. What is, in my opinion, the most important uh, part of Agile, of, of Scrum, uh, are, are retrospectives. And retrospectives, according to Wikipedia, are meeting held by the project team at the end of project uh, or process to discuss what was successful, what could be improved, and how to incorporate to success and improvement in future. So it's all about improvement, continuous improvement, some kind of Kaizen uh, approach. And what I found out is uh, I decided to implement retrospectives uh, on the company level. Uh, so. Uh, we do every quarter company retrospective, so all team leaders gather in one room and do a retrospective uh, 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 on the company uh, level. So uh, we have every quarter team representatives. Uh, we talk about improvements in the company, in the processes, uh, on different levels, on communication level. Uh, and examples on improvements uh, uh, from the last couple of retrospectives you can see here. So uh, our People, uh, team leaders, team representatives uh, 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 to, uh, communicated to me, found out on the retrospectives that uh, what we, they would like to change in the company is uh, simplifying reporting uh, time in the app. It was one thing uh, the, of the thing I mentioned before. But they want the ping pong table, uh, and they've got it at the end, uh, that they would like Scrum in all projects, uh, all teams. It was not like that in, uh, 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 all the time. Today we have Agile in all the teams that uh, they want uh, a separate uh, room for one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, that they want anti-stress balls, that they want more light on the staircase, 
that they want teacups with STX uh, superheroes. You can see these teacups on our booth, uh, I think downstairs, so you will see how nice teacups we have. And this is the idea from our uh, employees. And they want better scrum board. We, of course, implemented that they, we can customize scrum boards. It was also from inside uh, 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 company. Uh, the other agile uh, uh, thing, uh, uh, another uh, uh, feature of agile uh, company is open communication. Uh, what I understand on, from company point of view uh, is open communication. So open space is not open communication. Uh, uh, what I believe uh, that uh, a team to become the real team, that, uh, that team dynamics uh, uh, will be uh, in place is uh, that team is gathered in one place. So we, our uh, work organization, office organization is like this, that one team is in one room. In most cases, uh, we are able to, to locate the uh, entire team in one room. Uh, then, really incredible things going on uh, when uh, people spend uh, together uh, eight hours, they can solve all the problems, they can create uh, nice things, they are very innovative, they help each other and they also joke each other, they challenge each other, they motivate each other. So this is what I understand by open communication. Uh, and this is, I think, is most important, uh, uh, and it applies to all our teams. Then we have, of course, conference room uh, that is available for all teams that they can communicate uh, outside their team uh, with with client, with uh, or they can do retrospective outside their room. Uh, what is uh, what is the nice thing, and I find it uh, that improves a lot communication, are lunches uh, with colle colle uh, colleagues. And what we have, and we always had in STX uh, since our the beginning, is that people lunch together in the lunch room in our office. So they don't usually go outside, uh, but the food is coming to our company and they spend 15, 20 minutes together eating. Eating together really builds very strong relationship, and uh, this is a very unique thing that happens there. We have one-on-one -on -one room, people meet, of course we have uh, regular things like group chat, Skype, Jagger and so on. Uh, why, one, uh, one, why one plus one can be more? Uh, it's because we believe in teams and we delegate the responsibility very a lot, uh, to, a lot of responsibility to team and team leaders. Our teams are self-organizing, they are collocated, entire team in one room. Uh, we have at least one woman, uh, woman in uh, per team, and this is also, I think, quite unique about us. Uh, we have, all, I think, we have also one team uh, compound only from women, so this is nice. Uh, we have always one non-technical person in the team, uh, and team built their own agreement. Having this all in place, uh, we, our, when our team usually are most much more efficient than team on client's uh, uh, side. Uh, we also use Agile in non-technical projects, uh, Scrum board and Kanban board, so uh, we implemented some extra features, so uh, uh, something like Kanban lanes to Scrum board. Uh, and what we manage, for example, with this kind of Scrum board is our marketing department and communication, so we have different communication to Facebook, LinkedIn, and we manage this process and this uh, pro it's, it's process more than a project, just with our regular Scrum and Kanban uh, uh, board. And then I can easily go into this, uh, this kind of board and see what is the progress in our communication on in other uh, things in a company. Today, uh, company is uh, more than 115 people. Uh, we are divided in a, into around 15 teams. We have lo uh, locations in three cities in Poland, Piwa, Poznan and Wrocław. We are also opening a new office in uh, Łódź. We also have an office in Austin in Texas. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, probably you are not familiar because you are from Europe, me, me also. Uh, uh, Austin is small, uh, small Silicon Valley, so small California, and now really a lot of innovative teams are located not in California, but in Austin. And it's much more cheaper, so uh, it's wise to know. I didn't know uh, when I came there, I, this is what I learned. Uh, we have 16 clients, in, uh, most of them are in the United States uh, and uh, uh, United Kingdom. We have also clients in the Netherlands. And of course, we have some clients, usually these are banks in Poland. What, how STX is going to be 
tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, but what I know is that we are going to follow uh, all the time an agile process. Uh, so we'll be planning, doing, inspecting and adapting all the time. We'll see what future, what future will come. And now, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Okay, first question, please, here. Um, I'm a Scrum Master, and I would say I have no idea why you, you introduced time tracking as a way to do a job. I really don't understand what's the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why was time tracking introduced as a, an agile practice? Yeah, time tracking was uh, is. Uh, uh, key selling point for us because uh, we need to have it because this is how we build our clients based off, uh, on time and material. Uh, what we need uh, as an agile, we improved our time tracking process inside company and we improved it in agile way. But this is not part of, uh, uh, of Scrum or Agile itself. Uh, this is the business requirement. And uh, we found a way, uh, thanks to Agile and uh, 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 retrospective and adoption, how to make this uh, less painful as, as possible. Uh, so it's not part of Scrum, uh, but without good time tracking, you cannot run business very well because otherwise you don't know how to, you know, for example, count velocity per hour. This is some, we can do some extra measurements uh, uh, with it. But my main reason for time tracking is uh, billing invoicing clients. You can always find me in our uh, STX Next booth uh, downstairs. I will be there for the next one or two hours. Unfortunately, I have to leave uh, today afternoon. Uh, yeah, and one more thing. Uh, uh, we have, we are organizing probably, if you know, uh, uh, Europython battle. So you are invited today at four o'clock. There will be another uh, competition. So just join us downstairs. You will see what also nice things we are doing. Thank you.